Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Centros and Shepherd is the most powerful dog in the world. Hey, my name is Rinat and the last name is Sultanov and uh, we've been breeding this breed since 1993. First time when I saw this breed, it was my uh, serving time in uh, Border Patrol. And since I'm from Kazakhstan, uh, I was a soldier in Border Patrol between Kazakhstan and China. I never saw Central Asian Shepherd as a child. Uh, first of all, because, you know, uh, at the time when I was young, we lived in the big city. And plus, at this time, a lot of dogs were killed uh, through the company uh, that, uh, you know, at this time was uh, a lot of problem with rabies. And the uh, uh, government killed a lot of dogs during this uh, problem, you know. And we didn't have a lot of Central Asian Shepherd in my uh, young uh, years. But original, offic officially, this breed is our native breed. But it was so rare when I was uh, a soldier, M means 25 years ago. 30 years ago, it was very rare in my country. After a few years, uh, I realized that I want to have this breed. In my country, uh, uh, especially uh, the, uh, this breed is li li a livestock protection breed. Means uh, they lived in the rural area with uh, sheep, with goats, with uh, horses, and they guard. And in Kazakhstan, the predators are foxes, uh, shackles, uh, wolves. This the most of them. You know, wolves are the biggest population of the predators in Kazakhstan. There is some legends, you know, that uh, one dog can kill uh, one uh, one wolf, but it's not true. One dog like that cannot kill the the, the adult uh, mature uh, wolf. They should fight at least two with one wolf, you know. In this case, they can have a chance to be uh, winners, you know. Otherwise, a wolf will kill the dog. They follow a little bit through the through the wolf, but after maybe. Uh, Half mile, they go back to the stock, you know. I'm talking about dogs. Yeah. If they saw the wolves, yeah. they, they can follow for a short, uh, short, uh, short, uh, short times or sh short distance through the wolf. But after, after, after that, they go back to the, uh, to the livestock, you know. Right. This is their uh, main job, you know. And if, if they go through there for a long time, a lo long distance, uh, the uh, shepherds uh, do not keep them. You know, because it's, there is a problem. Wolves are very smart. They can go, uh, they never go to, the, uh, to, uh, to take out some animals alone. You know, they always uh, have a few of them. And if one dog go through, uh, follow one uh, a wolf, at the same time, two other wolves can kill uh, animals, you know, can, can kill sheep or goats. You know, that's why uh, shepherds uh, do not keep them. Do not keep dogs that follows the wolves for the long distance, you know. You can, you can lose the dog and you can lose your sheep. Uh, when we're talking about uh, history, uh, yes, I can say it's of, uh, at least 4,000 years old, age of the breed. We know that uh, that's exactly of this uh, age because uh, scientists, uh, archaeologists, have found some terracotta, is it terracotta? Like uh, small small statue. They found like, uh, and uh, it, these te terracots and they found it in Turkmenistan. It's a part of the Central Asian, uh, Central Asian region, and they found this small uh, statue, and it and this statue looks exactly like uh, uh, a Central Asian shepherd. Now you know this breed uh, originally land race means nobody care about uh, pedigrees, you know, in the, uh, their original countries. They. Uh, um, they care about actual work. If they work good, this is good, a good dog. If they, they are not good dogs, you know, uh, uh, they cannot keep them. Yeah, the work is very important for this breed. Well, I can say for any breeds, but for working dogs it's especially. And uh, I, I, because of that, I, I try to sell our pups to farmers only, or for people who live in rural areas, and uh, it's, uh, they sh should have a work. 
we will add that, that, that they will not have, uh, will not show you all abilities of, of their temperament, you know. They have to have uh, hard work and the love work, to, uh, they love to be with, uh, they like to be uh, with livestock, you know. For this moment, they are guardian dogs only. But uh, three years ago, uh, we sold our, uh, before we have had Nubian gods. But uh, since I start, uh, me and my wife started uh, college, colleges, uh, we sold our uh, Nubians because they were milking goats and we didn't have uh, uh, time for, to milk them, you know, yeah. and we sell them until we uh, finish our education. Now they are just guardian dogs, but before they, have, uh, they, will, they were uh, livestock protection dogs and guardian dogs too. For this moment, I can say that there is not so much of variation. Uh, before it was, before it was because, uh, because uh, uh, many countries in Central Asian region uh, have this breed like a, a native breed, not just one country. At least uh, five countries uh, in Central Asian region and plus additional uh, uh, countries in, in, in Asia. And means, uh, yes, in past there were little, uh, some different types, but now uh, since uh, there is some sele uh, the selective program use dogs from each of those regions and they are mixed together. Now we, uh, we do not have a lot of uh, variation, but we still have different uh, head types, still have different coat types and uh, of course a lot of uh, different colors. If you are talking about showing, no, nobody uh, divide this breed but variation. Means in one ring you'll see a long haired uh, dog, short haired dog and middle size of haired dog, cold dog, you know. And uh, if you are talking about heads, yes, there is some uh, variation of type of uh, heads. But anyway, all of this uh, variation should be in standard, you know. The female should be no, low, uh, no less than 65 centimeters in width and uh, the male should be uh, no less than 70 centimeters in width. But uh, average uh, size of the show dogs is higher. It's about, the females are near by 70 centimeters in uh, width and uh, males about 75, 78 centimeters in width uh, taller. Average weight is about uh, 120 pounds, 125 uh, pounds for females and uh, 150 to 160 for, for males, for show dogs. Uh, the working dogs about, uh, okay, the males about the same size like females in show ring, means uh, 120 or uh, 50, 55 kilograms. Uh, and females uh, lower. My dogs are show dogs and uh, working dogs. And since I do not breed gigantic dogs, my dogs are working dogs. And I never, uh, you know, it's here uh, uh, there is a tendency again. Many people call me, American guys call me, and their first question, uh, what is the weight? What is the size? And uh, you know, for me, it's not right answer questions, you know. Uh, because uh, I, I know some breeds uh, and some guys count their quality by weight, like uh, uh, English Mastiffs. Oh, my dog is 220 pounds. This is not a, uh, you know, it's, weight is not, uh, is not is a uh, measurement of quantity or quality, you know. For me, uh, more important is in temperament. They, are, they have very different temperament than other dogs and other breeds in comparison. And I am a professional guy and I, I know many breeds and uh, I can compare, you know. These guys, uh, those guys are very, very special. And uh, if I can describe, if you ask me about description, I can describe three, I can say three words about their, uh, those dogs. It's uh, independent, uh, loyal and self-determined. Three words, yeah. the best breed in the world for livestock, like livestock protection dogs, you know. We uh, sold uh, maybe 10, 15 uh, pups to the farmers and uh, 
I've got some notes uh, from those guys about the uh, different of this uh, of these dogs uh, uh, in comparison to another uh, large guardian dogs. Those those dogs are more stronger and do not they do not afraid or wild animals, uh, including uh, bears, because they are more natural. They are more closer close to nature. Some of my buyers uh, before uh, have had some uh, Anatolian Shepherds, uh, Ma Mariman, Maremas, you know, Italian, Italian uh, large guardian dogs, and uh, Great Pyrenees. Uh, many of them are afraid of the uh, wild animals. I can say many of them are modern breeds, you know, not so old. They are close to Central Asian Shepherds, but they are modern breeds too, you know. Uh, some Anatolian Shepherds are very nice, you know, but since uh, here in USA and uh, in Great Britain, they, uh, they started to breed this breed uh, for at least 100 years ago. Not maybe, not, not in USA, but in Great Britain, exactly. They started to breed it like a, uh, like a uh, breed, you know, means, in my opinion, maybe they can lose some abilities. But if you, are, if we, you uh, breed some uh, Anatolian Shepherd from Turkey, of course, they, they, I think 100% uh, they'll be better than you'll buy uh, from some breeders here, you know, because they are close to uh, nature. Central Asian Shepherds are very territorial dogs. I mean, they, can, uh, they know their territory. And it's interesting things that, uh, uh, for example, uh, their territory can be anything you attach it. Means if you attach the dog to the uh, tree, it will uh, guard the tree. If you attach the dog to the uh, uh, trailer, it will guard the trailer. If you put the dog to the uh, car, it will guard the car. And it's interesting. And some dogs, you know, I don't know how it's possible, but uh, some guys bought uh, dogs from us and they do not have fences all around the, their uh, lands. If, if you have 10 acres, it's hard to make a fence, you know, and some part of their lands does not, uh, do, not, uh, does, uh, do not have fences around. But their dogs, after two, three days, they know the border. When their uh, land uh, is, uh, um, there is uh, okay, there is no any fences, but the dogs, after two, three days, uh, since they came to this uh, new land, after two, three, day, two, three days, they know the, the border of their lands. I don't know how. How can they do it? But they are territorial. They know their territory. His official name, Mountain of Glory, Alamak. He will be two years old, and we just got it. Uh, he imported from uh, Central Asia, from the country is Kazakhstan. He uh, contains most of famous dogs, what I know, in his blood. Yeah, he has very nice temperament. Uh, he is not so heavy right now because he he is still young, and uh, this uh, this breed uh, uh, tends to mature uh, uh, very, for a very long time for uh, to see uh, their fully conf their confirmation. Uh, you have to see the dog at the age, uh, males at the age of three or four years old. The young boy, he is uh, 11 months old, uh, very tall guy, very teeny guy. Uh, his uh, full name is Ali Alaja Tibul. He is from another uh, Central Asian country, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, Kyrgyzstan, which is close to the Kazakhstan. And uh, uh, we bought him uh, last year, and this, uh, last December. And uh, he is very tall, the tallest guy what we have now. Uh, but like I said, uh, the, uh, the, the size is not important for me. Uh, for me, important uh, the temperament. Uh, okay, I, um, I, I do not. We do not produce gigantic dogs because I know if, if the dog is gigantic, it cannot work. It will sleep only. If you would like to buy some toy, buy gigantic dogs. But at the same time, they have a short life. I'm talking about gigantic dogs. Our dogs' average life is uh, 12, 13 years of the age. We have one uh, long hair dog right now. Uh, her name is uh, Saul of Asia Mishka. She's a daughter of our uh, uh, 
champion of Ukraine and Moldova, uh, Ablai Akhtash. Mishka is our second generation here, and uh, she is uh, uh, very massive, a very typical dog for uh, Central Asian Shepherds, and uh, she is very typical for Alibi dogs, for Turkmenian lions. And uh, yeah, because uh, many, many uh, Turkmenian lions, uh, many uh, Turkmenian dogs are long hair. The panda is, uh, it was not, uh, she was not born in our kennel, uh, we, uh, we got it, uh, but she is American uh, born dog and we got it here from Texas, from uh, one Russian lady. And uh, she, uh, Panda has very nice pedigree too. His mom from one of the best kennels in the world. Uh, it's, uh, the name of the kennel is Bayas Buri. Uh, this kennel is from Ukraine originally. And uh, she is very typical dog too. And uh, but she keeps some uh, dog uh, bloods in her in her body from another part of uh, Central Asia, from Tajikistan. And uh, the uh, black or dark color is very typical for uh, Tajik dogs. And and she is the uh, the most taller female what we have. She is about 75 centimeters. It's nearby 30 inches in which. Uh, she is very tall. She's uh, uh, nearby exactly like uh, average males. Adila, uh, she's uh, like Favon and Brindle. Female, uh, on the video she'll be like white, but she is uh, Brindle. Officially, and uh, she's a daughter of uh, long hair uh, female Mishka. She's uh, about 70 centimeters in which and uh, very massive. Uh, she's just uh, nearby three years old. Short hair, female, very nice temperament. A very, uh, she's a uh, very nice guardian dog. My vision uh, or my wants to see those dogs on farms. Since uh, this is a working dog, I would like to see them uh, in farms on, in rural areas. And if we sell them to the pe uh, people who live in, uh, in the cities, we always check out. We always check out the background of uh, what uh, experience with other breeds. What breeds did they have before? You know, and uh, for us, it's good point to sell the puppy to 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 the potential buyer if he have had an experience with Molosser type dogs like pit bulls, Rottweilers, Great Dan, something like that. He, uh, and it's not good uh, dog for the first time buyer. You know, it's not good. Without uh, good experiences, uh, we, we do not sell the, the dogs. And if we sell the dogs to the cities, we also check out the size of the background, backyard. If it's small, we, we, will, not, we uh, will not sell the puppy. And, but usually we, we sell the pups to the farms and, uh, and to the rural, rural areas only. Because our point is uh, to introduce them like uh, working dogs here. Uh, we always ask about main purpose. What would you like to see the, uh, in this dog? You know, many people think uh, if uh, they saw the dog, oh, they're beautiful. They're really beautiful, but they are working dogs, and they are not uh, baby. Uh, not uh, they are not toy dogs. You know, they are not uh, pet dogs. In some point, they are pet dogs for your family, but they are not pet uh, pet uh, breeds like. Uh, uh, many different uh, big breeds like right now, you know, uh, and because some people like to go to the uh, dog parks or something like that. With this breed, it's uh, very often hard, hard to do it. Before they, uh, when they're puppy, it's okay. But when they starting to mature, it's starting to uh, to 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 introduce them to other dogs harder and harder, because uh, they are alpha dogs. They are very dominant dogs, you know, and they are starting to dominant. To, uh, if some male try to dominant over them, they will always will uh, try to be uh, winners, you know. And uh, it's, and uh, in this case, I do not recommend those dogs like uh, pet dogs or for people who. And also, of course, the uh, person who buy that, uh, who try, uh, who want to buy this dog, he'll be not so old, you know, because they are strong. Very strong guys, and if uh, some lady wants to buy it, and if she's uh, very old, how can you keep her, uh, him or her, you know, in your own? If it's strong, strong dogs, you know.
Thank you guys for watching this video and we're glad to share this unique breed here in USA and uh, thank you again.